Hey everyone, welcome back to Clubhouse Movies Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Rubalcaba for Mr. Abel Panetta. And uh, hey, guess what? Guess what time of year it is? It is Halloween time. Halloween is this Sunday. You should be hearing this on Friday. Yeah. So uh, happy Halloween, everyone. We'll have a special Halloween episode for you coming up there. Yeah. And remember to like, share, subscribe. And uh, hit that notification bell. That way, you know, you get alerted when we drop things. We're going to put a guillotine there next time. So yeah. Or a bear trap, you know, <laughs> so we can take care of you there. But anyway, like I said, happy Halloween, everybody. We have every, our set adorned with yeah. a Halloween-esque. We, we actually have working dry ice. This is not a fog machine. That is, that is danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Yeah, don't eat it. Yeah. Really bad for you. But anyway, we'll start off with a little bit of spooky news. Ooh. I have alluded before that you can go to the American Horror Story house and the Michael Myers yes, house. Yes, you have. But I just uh, realized you can actually go to the... Nightmare on Elm Street house just sold in uh, L.A. for $3.25 million. That was in L.A.? Yeah, right? What? Uh, and I, I mean, go to, I mean, drive by and like wave yeah. at and yeah. take a selfie. <laughs> like, no thanks. Don't go inside. Yeah. Uh, but it is definitely a real place that you can say hi to. Oh, man, that's so, a lot cooler news than I had. Yeah, well, what you got? Well, I have one that is very unfortunate, and uh, it actually broke last week after we finished, after we wrapped up filming. It was... Uh, Alec Baldwin accidentally discharges a weapon on set, killing one and injuring another. Yeah, Ooh. no fun. Yeah, that was the director of DP, uh, may she rest in peace. And then we have um, the director of the movie, uh, Rust, they were working on. He actually got uh, injured by a fragment that shot him through the through his uh, collarbone. Really? Oof. Yeah. Well, uh, just remember, there are four primary rules to firearm safety. Number one, watch that muzzle. Keep it pointing in a safe direction at all times. All times. All times. Treat every firearm with respect and assume it is loaded. Be sure of the target, what is in front and beyond it. Because remember, it's like a... Yeah, it goes through. There's a thing called collateral damage. Always keep your finger outside the trigger guard until ready to shoot. Remember, we were talking about Halloween kills? Yeah. And that that woman like shot herself in the head by accident? Yeah. Never float on the trigger. Yeah, bad news. Always float on the... on so, the little trigger guard there. So always. Yeah, yeah the, the, uh, the the DP. She seemed like she had a good career ahead of her. So, uh, yeah, man. She was only like in her f- like early 40s, too. It's like, oof. Plus, the director, uh, director of photography, I think, is the hardest job on the set. It's, it is so difficult. The, it the, is so dynamic. The director manages the people, but the, the DP manages the shot. Yeah, everything you see, she was responsible for mm-hmm. and is responsible for. I mean, that's what happens. It's like, it's rough, man. So, she but will be missed. She will what be missed. Her Look her up. Uh, let me uh, look that up. Halina Hutchins. Halina Hutchins, you will be missed. Probably one of the greats. Yeah. Uh, and then just uh, to tag on that, uh, Nicholas Cage had apparently uh, had an issue with the armorer on an earlier set, saying that uh, she had fired a gun too close to him or something. Yeah. So the armorer of Rust. Yes. Yeah. And you know what's crazy? I found There's out another that project. I'm sorry. Yeah. So, Cage earlier. So, yeah. So apparently she fired a, a shot, not telling anyone. I think that was it, and he stormed off set. But apparently, her dad is this famous armorer that is that everyone hires, and I, I guess she just doesn't have her dad's grit, man. I don't know, man. Hire a hire a veteran. Yeah. Hire a bomb squad guy. Yeah, seriously, someone who's dealt with actual things that hurt veterans. You know, give, give, give him a job on the set. Yeah, why not? Uh, but Be yeah, safe. So once Nicholas Cage warns you about somebody, you know, take a note. Yeah, please. Come on, man. He's in a lot of movies, man. Freaking shooting stuff. Anyway, yeah. where were we? So, uh, guess I have another bit of news. Uh, not as dark or anything, or as, it's just a little funny. Um, Courtney Cox says she is willing to fight for her friend's apartment, and this was this was actually just a plug. They were doing like a little stunt so uh, to get ready for Scream. Okay, that's good. Yeah, so hey, why not? Why not tie it in? I like Friends. I like Scream. Grew up watching both of those things. I never liked Friends for some reason. Yeah, you know, I did the hand gesture. If you guys know that, it's the oh. hand gesture. <laughs> well, yeah, well, anyway, uh, another uh, Star Wars news. Did you hear Hayden Christensen will be Anakin Skywalker in the Ashoka show? I did. I am super stoked. I'm very curious to see how this pans out, how it works. <laughs> Are they going to be near sand? to tag on that news um i guess it's another disney plus thing we're talking about here is apparently disney plus is working on a magneto show 
Really curious to see how really? that's going to... Yeah, a um, Magneto show. I'll have to I'll have to fact check that one. That's going to be... that was So this is right here from Giant Freaking Robot. Those guys again. Those guys. And it says the... Actually reported it. It says, as Geekosity reported, apparently they, atti- they attained inside information. And so far, their track record is pretty good for our show. So... I will yeah. I will go with them and say this this is actually going to happen. Yeah, we uh we we uh when we run these I I have the actual articles usually up on the YouTube version so you yeah. can check those out. You'll we, hear the page tear in our podcast form. If you hear if you hear this sound, there's actually a a visual associated with that on the YouTube version so you yeah. can check that out and uh yeah, you know, we just we just report as out of our arse. we report as reported. So uh take everything with a grain of salt. Yeah. Anyway, I got a I got another bit of melancholy news. Yeah, let's see. Vin Diesel walked Paul Walker's daughter Meadow down the aisle. Yeah, at her wedding. That is awesome. I don't yeah. know if you saw the picture, but like he's, I didn't. I I'm a huge fan of Paul Walker and stuff. I could not bring myself to look at it. I'm like, oh no. I was thinking, shouldn't he wear like jeans and like a tank top? He totally should have. <laughs> but been no, he wore a blue Toretto. suit. Uh, so that's that's nice. Well, that's cool. Nice. That's very they were nice. actually friends in real life. Yeah, that's that's a really cool man. Uh, so. Another another bit of news, n- nothing sad or anything. This is uh, reported by IGN.com. We have Brendan Fraser, who's cast as a villain in the Batgirl movie. Oh, he's he actually plays the villain Firefly. Hopefully, so, yeah. We'll see. We'll see if he's uh if he's still not. You, you have with those uh those no sudden move pounds. Man, I hope he loses that because that is just that is just not healthy. It's yeah, gonna, we'll see. Uh, and uh, also uh. All of you people who saw Dune over the weekend, mm-hmm. Dune for two has officially been greenlit and will be released uh, 2023. Shut up and take my money. Yeah. So I can't wait to watch that damn thing. You can see our review on Dune coming soon. Yeah. It's already in the can, ready to be, uh, ready to fly into your, your uh, face balls. Oh, yeah. And speaking of sequels or things I'm assuming are going to be sequels or carry on of a story. Um, apparently, a Quiet Place game is in development. Now, I don't know if this game is going to take place during the thing, after, before, but who knows? Hey, if you like A Quiet Place, uh, there's a video game out there for you. <laughs> I saw these little creepy guys behind us, and I'm like, <laughs> what the hell? I see them in the video. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for you guys listening, guys and gals, um, our set is adorned with spookiness because it is Halloween. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool. Yeah. Um, check it out. We spent spent time decorating this for you guys. Uh, and also uh, another uh, scary news: Transformers: Rise of the Beast has wrapped filming. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know, dude. I felt like that movie's movie came, movie news came out randomly and would just drop off the face of the earth. I forgot they were even making that. Yeah, I don't know if it's going to be part of the whole like universe. Um, oh, but it's man. directed by Stephen Koppel Jr. Okay, I believe he made uh, Creed two. Okay. So we'll we'll see how that is. Um, well, no more Bayham, I guess. No more Bayham. But I'm sure his it's name still is still going to be Bayham. Yeah, it's still they were still going to say consultant. <laughs> still will be Bayham. Okay, so speaking of directors, um, this just this cool little anecdotal story here. We have uh, apparently um, Chris Hemsworth and Taika Waititi are actual friends, and it looks like they actually hid this from Marvel when they were looking for a director for. Um, that Ragnarok Thor movie, Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, that's a good. One. I'm so, glad Taika Waititi got in on the uh, Star Wars slash Marvel n- game. Yeah. Speaking of Marvel news, uh, Bill Murray hints at his appearance in Marvel's Ant Man and the uh, Quantum Mania. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. So I'm we, so curious. That, to see that's this. what everybody says because he said he worked with the director, and everyone's like, "Wait, the director only made like Ant Man, Quantum Mania. Is he in a Marvel movie?" Whoa. So that's that's the biggest like rumor. So we'll find out. They also released a Quantum Mania logo. It's like all crazy and circly. So uh, we'll see. Bill Murray and King the King, King the Conqueror. Ooh man, I got another bit of news here, and this is this pumpkin uh, beer is this, making me funny. Yeah, it's funny, funny beer, funny beer. Um, but we do have speaking of funny and weird, uh, I guess not funny. Um, so for Dune, you guys know the villain. If you haven't seen it, we have a review coming out. Watch it. The villain. Um, was Baron, uh, what the heck was this guy's name? Vladimir Arkonen. Vladimir Arkonen, a.k.a. the Baron. Uh, he was played by Stellan Skarsgård, and apparently Stellan, 
Skarsgård um, says he wanted more nude scenes in this movie for his character. Woof. So if you want, yeah, man. Oh, dear, so, <laughs> poop, man. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> so if you want, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> so if you watch this movie, man, you're just like, oh, no. <laughs> like, please, God, no. Yeah, well, <laughs> they have a sequel to, to go through. And plus, he's supposed to have all kinds of diseases collected on his body. Yeah, he, and he floats. Well, let me show you my genital herpes. <laughs> he's like, this is my left arm, and this is my right arm. <laughs> but anyway, uh, in some other uh, Marvel news, uh, there have been two more classic villains confirmed for Spider-Man. Oh. No Way Home. Do you know there? I do not. I have not looked this up. Uh, the Lizard from the Amazing Spider-Man movies will return. Is it going to be Paul Giamatti? I'm just kidding. No, Thanks. but it will be uh, <laughs> Riz Ifans. I actually didn't see these ones. Who is that? He was the Lizard in the, the, the Andrew Garfield movies. Really? He's coming back. And you okay. know who's coming back? All right. Who? Is um, Thomas Hayden Church's spy, uh, uh, Sandman. No way. He's back. That means- okay. We might see to uh, was it Topher Grace? Topher Grace as, as Venom. Venom, but like that that huh. that makes six now because we have Doc Ock, yep, and then we have um, the Green Goblin. Yeah, the Green Goblin because we heard his voice. Like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it clearly sounded like William Dafoe. And then, and then we have uh, we have these two guys. Yeah, so those two, those two, and then we also have uh, Andrew Molina. Oh, you said Doc Ock. Doc so, Ock. Yeah. yeah, we also have uh, Electro. Yep, Electro. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then Jeez. we think Venom is going to be back. Yeah. Because it, they apparently yeah, alluded this, to it at the end of... Yeah, because this takes place in like a multiverse, we're assuming yeah, now. Because well, well, Venom acknowledged Spider-Man in the last movie, so He's why... Like, I don't like this guy. <laughs> oh, he looks tasty. <laughs> oh, man. Well, speaking of theories and more things, just kidding. Just using, just using a play on words here. So... Big Bang Theory's Kaylee Cuoco, yes, she is still associated with that show, even though it's been gone for uh, for quite some time. Apparently, she is going to join Curb Your Enthusiasm. Boom, boom, boom. Did you watch that? Uh, did I did. That? It's <laughs> pretty good. Dun, 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 you're, a, dun, dun, dun. you're a COVID hoarder. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> that was terrible. No, Larry. Oh, Will he ever man. learn? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay. a bit? Yeah, I got, I got a couple more. So uh, South Park next okay. month in November will release uh, a COVID special. Of course. Uh, another they COVID are. special on uh, Paramount Plus. Okay. To be followed in early 2022 with a brand new season. Oh, that's going to be good. So South Park will have its hot take. Let's see. I got one more. I got one last bit of news. I hope you have an, something that's going to lift us up because I got a bit of a bummer here. Uh, speaking of friends. Oh. The guy who played Gunther on Friends, James Michael Tyler, uh, he just passed away at the age of 59. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, I wasn't sure who he was, but you know, yeah, he's he Gunther. will be missed. He played, uh, he, was, he played a barista. Apparently, he was a, from what I read, he was an actual barista. They got hired to play a barista in a show. So, hey. All right. Pick a number between one and three. Two. So, uh, Idris Elba is going to play Knuckles in the Sonic movie. And oh. he has assured everyone the knuckles will not be sexy. Okay. Because apparently Idris Elba's voice is like rated the sexiest or something. What the heck? So that came out of nowhere. Well, it's it's a, it's uh, news. Everyone's <laughs> talking about it. All right. Now pick a number between either one or three. One. So we know that there are new Halloween movies coming out. Halloween ends will yeah. be the next one. Halloween. Right? So ends. check out our check out our, our review on Halloween kills. Halloween ends uh, is, I think they're still going to film it. They haven't filmed it yet. Uh, mm-hmm. And the uh, two characters, or two actors, I should say, yeah. from the Rob Zombie verse of okay. the Halloween movies want to return. Oh. They are um, Scout Taylor uh, Compton. She wants to, she played Laurie Strode in the Zombie verse. And okay. also, Danielle Harris wants to return. The funny thing about Danielle Harris is that she actually already crossed universes. Okay. She played um, Laurie Strode's daughter. Jamie Lloyd in the eighties sequels. Oh. And, and and she was a little girl. Then she played a teenage uh bracket. She, uh, uh, forget the first name, but bracket. Yeah. Te- she played the teenage version in the Rob Zombie verse. So she already oh. she would actually be in three universes if she goes wow. back into this one. So I I'm actually kinda hyped on that. Um and we haven't seen a lot of uh of uh Taylor Compton uh 
Scout Taylor Compton or Daniel Harris since then. So it'd be nice to see them. They they were, they did pretty well because yeah, like Rob Zombie, uh, you know, makes his character, he makes his actors do the. We should do an episode about a Rob Zombie movie around Halloween. Oh man, movie. we should. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, mm. just uh, just a thought. <laughs> and then I got one last. Yeah. Talk uh, to me. Last bit of. Uh, do you ever see the raid? Everyone's talking about the raid. The raid. Yeah. Why does it sound familiar? It's a TV show, or, or it's a movie that everybody saw, or something. No, I don't think I saw it. it sounds uh, really familiar, but I can't place it. But uh, raid star Iko uh, Uwas is going to be the villain okay. of uh, Expendables Four. Oh, so uh, I, I can't wait for Expendables Four now. I know, right? Let's, let's make it happen, man. <laughs> it's, it's happening. Be fun. Megan Fox is in it. <laughs> yeah. Make, there will gonna there, bust through a wall like Salone did. Yeah, there will be a scene with Megan Fox and uh, Dolph Lundgren. Whoop. Still no news about uh, <laughs> still, uh, what the scene entails. Yeah, <laughs> 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 uh, I got a gun here for you. All right. Well, anyway, uh, I think that's it for movie news. Uh, just remember to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when we drop new episodes, new podcasts. They all come out on YouTube and podcast form. Yes, the YouTube one may lag a little, but the podcast one pretty much releases regularly as soon as uh, yep. as soon as the wave is compressed. Yeah. It is out. And you know, I just want to thank all of our listeners out there. We we've noticed it is growing. Yeah, we we see you guys and we love that you see us. We really hope you keep the patronage going. And I mean, who knows, maybe someday soon we'll launch a page where you guys can help us grow. Yeah, man. So, yeah, we, we appreciate you. We hope you appreciate us. Let us know if you have any questions, comments, or things you would like us to cover. Yeah, because like, we do reply to these things. Leave, just write stuff. Yeah, you know, we totally do the colon, uh, what do you call it, parentheses open. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, open. I mean, Parenth- review us too, please. I mean, yeah. Put a, review us on. Hopefully good reviews. Remember, yeah, good all reviews fives. On, uh, all fives, all, all fives. podcasts, write something cool in there. Even Let if you hate like, us, give us five stars and say we yeah. hate you. Yeah. <laughs> because that'd, on, be, that'd be ironic. Yeah. And if you're on YouTube and you, you know, you dislike the episode, just click that dislike button twice. Be great. So, yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's really good. It's, it's like it's like it's like saying double negative when you do that. Exactly. Because everyone knows a double negative <laughs> equals a super negative. There we go. Anyway, so keep it up. I'm your host, Mark Rubalcava, for Mr. Abel Panetta. We will catch you next time. And remember, check out our special Halloween episode coming on Halloween. <laughs> and let me give you a, a, a clue as to the movie we'll be covering. Uh oh. Whoa. Anyway, catch you. <laughs> if you see that on YouTube. You totally saw that. If not, I'm sorry. But remember, take your fried chicken and gasoline (laughs) back home with you. Anyway, next time.